Welcome everybody to the Q&A that we are going to be doing on this channel. I'm really excited for this. Uh, if you guys are not aware, there was a video a couple days ago, maybe a more than a couple days ago now, of me announcing that I want to do a Q&A with you guys and also a giveaway. So uh, the giveaway is going to be announced at the end of this video, so stick around for that. But without further ado, guys, we are going to go through all of the questions that I got on that video and honestly I got more than I thought I would so this might be a little bit long but honestly guys thank you so much for this let's get right into the questions question number one comes from Peyton Peyton says entry Q&A what is your favorite sport to play and what is your favorite sport to watch you may have more than one answer <coughs> honestly everything in my life surrounds around football so American football too not soccer you weird British people but <laughs> I really enjoy watching football. I enjoy playing football. Everything about the sport is something that I've always been interested in. So it's football, definitely. Question two comes from Steven, the RC King, and he says, entry, did you lose your virginity? If so, when and how? I refuse to answer that question. Next question comes from somebody on earth. <laughs> wow, I like that name. What is your most memorable game you played during your childhood? That would have to be the original Carnivores game. Um, wow, I haven't thought about that in a long time. But yeah, Carnivores, there's been a lot of Carnivores games that have came out. And actually, they are on iOS now. And that was back in the 90s, man. I mean, I was young. I was small, small, small. And I was just learning how to use a computer. My dad had the game and he said, yeah, play this game. It's really fun. And so I started playing it and I got addicted. It's a dinosaur hunting game. And... That was the first game that I ever learned how to play. Next question comes from Ranger Linksai, and he asks, why did you make your YouTube channel? I made my YouTube channel uh, about seven months ago for the reason of me just <laughs> wanting to make some stupid videos, and it kind of snowballed a little bit. I wanted to just, I wanted just an Elgato, okay? And I bought myself an Elgato, I did some really bad editing, and I just liked the process of sharing funny gaming moments with you guys and after I did that for a while I kind of changed it up into something that I really wanted to do which is gaming news but also I do enjoy making the funny moments too so that is why I wanted to do it I just wanted to make stupid videos and come home at the end of the day and put some crap together but yeah it kind of snowballed and I really am happy where I am right now next question comes from pro gamer and he says you Okay. Next question comes from DM21 Gaming. Shout out DM21 Gaming. Subscribe to them. They are amazing. It's a group of people, anyways. They ask, "Don't give me anything." Question: Now that you're YouTube famous, would you ever consider hosting an in-person meet and greet? I'm not famous. If I hosted a meet and greet right now, it would probably be at the McDonald's down the street, and I would end up buying everybody McNuggets. That nobody would come. That's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Next question comes from EGAH, and he asks, here's my question. Can you lick your elbow? Can you show us if you can slash can't? Okay, here we go. Ah, my ear is starting to ring, what the heck? Ah. No. Next question comes from Wolfful. Wolfful? He asks Entry, what are you studying in college? I am actually studying criminal justice. I graduate next week. So that's kind of odd. And honestly, that is why I started the vlogging thing on this channel too, because the process of me making that change in my life is going to be something that might, might not give me enough time to make the videos I make right now. So I might later on in about three, four weeks do something where It'll be like a week of vlogging, and then once I get my setup back up, we're gonna get back into these videos. Next question comes from Ever Dragon. My question, how do you record your videos on the go? I've always thought it would be unsafe and tricky to handle. Well, honestly, I had a GoPro. I think I told you guys this in a previous video, and that one I had a mount on my car. So what I would do is literally just drive wherever I was going and hit record, and it would just record my face. My hands were free for that, but now I got a new phone. I got another iPhone and uh, this is working better for me. It actually is something that it's hard to vlog while you're in the car. So what I do is I'll just go for, I go for runs a lot. So I'll keep my phone on me and 
just record my vlogs on my run, so it's actually pretty easy. Next question comes from AD619 and he asks, which was your first PC game you loved to play? Carnivores. Amazing game. Look it up. Next question comes from Johnny Beans. He asks, what is your most, what is your most, most nostalgic thing you can think of? What is something that just when you think of it, fills you with nostagna? What is that word? I'm Googling that word right now. It is a sentimental longing and wishful affection from the, for the past. Probably, oh, that's a tough one. I'm pretty emotionless, honestly. <laughs> Let's think here. Um, probably the original Xbox playing Star Wars Battlefront. That is something that I always look back on and like, those were good gaming times. That. Next question comes from Jay Vaxer. He asks, will you ever collab with other YouTubes and would you ever collab with smaller channels? Um, I've done a few collabs in the past. The problem with that is I play on the Xbox One, so people that play on the Xbox One and are able to actually do collaborations with me is kind of difficult because if you're not aware, actually collaborating with somebody over the internet is a lot of work. And I mean, if there's people in the area with me, I would definitely do those, those collaborations. But right now, I plan on doing them in the future, but that is something that I haven't really sat down and really thought about too much. Next question comes from Broclaw. He asks, question, what do you think of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty 4 being remastered? I think that I, my last video I posted really got in depth with this, but I really believe that the game itself is going to be good, Infinite Warfare. And I honestly do believe that Modern Warfare Remastered, it's actually coming out a month early. So to say, like that's kind of rumors that are going around right now. I think I'm gonna be on that game a little bit more than I am gonna be on Infinite Warfare just because that game brings back some good memories. But again, I think that Infinite Warfare, the space scene, I actually like future combat. A lot of people are saying that they like the boots on the ground thing, but I'm really into that very futuristic style of shooters. I'm not mad about it at all. Next question comes from PGT Gaming and he asks Q&A. Will you ever record a non-Call of Duty voiceover and give some of us live content? I I would probably say only like 20% of my videos are Call of Duty voiceovers, but live content, I wish I could do live content, but my upload speed is literally 0.1. It's terrible. So once I get better internet, that is going to be something that I do constantly. I love live streaming. I've done it a couple times. It's just really bad where I'm at. So I will definitely do more live streams in the future, but actual content that I make is probably only around 20% Call of Duty voiceovers. So next question comes from Dan. Oh God, this is my buddy. Uh, Daniel Malik asks, what is the craziest thing you ever did in high school? Every single day I hung out with Daniel Malik was a crazy day. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Next question comes from Tate Tater Two Grand. All right, he asks entry. Well, first off, I would like to congratulate you. I was wondering though, what is your biggest inspiration that keeps you doing YouTube? Inspiration is kind of a bad word for it. I don't have to be inspired to do YouTube. I just love doing it. So. People that have to go out and hunt for inspiration to continue doing YouTube are really the people that really don't want to make the videos. And if you don't want to make the videos, don't make them because it comes out bad on the channel. Make videos because you want to make videos and make things that you like creating and you don't have to hunt for inspiration. It's just something that you want to do every day. So that's my comment on that. Next comment comes from Twins Plays and they ask, what inspired you to start making funny moment videos slash videos in general? Probably just the fact that I wanted to do it. Um, nothing, again, really inspired me to do it. I watched a lot of YouTube. I still watch a lot of YouTube. And um, I just think that I could contribute to this because I watched so much that I thought that maybe I can do something to give back from all the great content that I've received. So, yeah. Next comment comes from... Ekimang, 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 Ekim
what video did you enjoy editing the most, if you have any? The last video that I made with a, it was a Call of Duty video and it was just funny moments and I had a lot of fun editing it because there were some editing techniques that I learned and it actually came out really good. Uh, Seahorse Puncher actually shouted me out for the video and he thought it was good, I enjoyed making it. I'll leave a link right here to it if you guys wanna watch it. Good video, I loved making that video. Next question comes from Vic Jackson and he says, or she says, I don't know if Vic's a guy or a girl name. In 2016 alone, what was the best game you've played so far? Uh, also, what is the most anticipated day one must have? Oh, what is the most anticipated day one must have that you have pre-ordered? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Um, actually, I haven't pre-ordered that yet. I'm waiting for another model to come out because they just have the content right now. I want to get one of those collector's editions for this one. So that right there is going to be the game that I'm looking forward to. And the other part of the question, what is the best game I've played so far this year? I would have to say, well, I mean, I can't really say it, but I mean, honestly, the best game I played this year was Dead Space. I mean, it's just a remastered version for the Xbox One, but I love Dead Space. Um, games that were released, I would have to say Unravel. That game is so much fun. It's just a puzzle game, but for the games that were released so far in 2016, that was a awesome game. Next question comes from The Ramos. He asks Q&A, do you have any pets? Do you have any siblings? And great video, congrats. Thank you very much, mister. Uh, I do not have any pets. I have three brothers. I have one sister. Um, sister's older and the three brothers are younger. So there's that. Next question comes from Bruno Hirschman. He asks, what's your goal with this channel? My goal is to continue doing what I'm doing right now and continue to build the community and make great content for everybody. I mean, I'm happy every single day that I wake up and if I stuck where I'm at right now with these subscribers, I would continue to make videos just because it's so much fun. And it's just surprising to me that this is growing as fast as it is. Next question comes from Caleb Wyatt. He asks, Entry, what is your favorite game ever? Carnivores, definitely. No, no, no. The original Star Wars Battlefront is my favorite game of all time. Actually, Battlefront 2. Um, no, one, no, two, definitely two. Next question comes from Malik Evans, and he asks, what was your first game? Carnivores was my first game. Next question comes from Alex Bro, and he asks, would you ever plan on playing with subs like on PS4 and have fun and keep doing what you're doing? Okay, I, I would plan on PS4 I don't have, but I actually have multiple times played with subscribers. My gamer tag is Emergency Butter, so on Xbox One, if you have one, I play with subscribers all the time. Next question comes from <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> How many questions did you ask? Do you have a girlfriend? Heck no. Next question <laughs> comes from Daniel Malik. He asks, do you have a sly dad? That's an inside joke. My dad is sly, but he's not too sly. I'm sorry, everybody that didn't get that reference. Only one person got that reference. <laughs> Next question comes from Braconet Brokenator247. He asks, what brings you into gaming? I've gamed forever. I've gamed since I was I've gamed since I was a little kid, and it's just something that I've done for a very long time. So I'm good at it. I know what I'm talking about when I talk about them, so I've just been doing it forever. He also asks, can you dab? You asked for it. Next question comes from Skull, the Skull Assist. And he, oh, that's not a question. He said, congratulations. Next question comes from Frostex Flammez. He asks, Q&A entry. What is your most valuable thing in your house? Most valuable thing in my house. Nobody come rob me. Probably this microphone. It's pretty expensive, but that's mine at least. I mean, I'm, pff, there's other people in this house. I don't know what they have. Next question comes from Chris Hoff. He asks, if you could design a video game, what would it be about? By the way, love your videos. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, if I could design a video game, it would be something along the lines of horror because I do enjoy 
um, the thought process behind horror games because there are so many out there right now and it, they're very artistic and everything out like everything else like Call of Duty or some pixel games also pixel games are very very well put together that wouldn't be a bad idea but uh, horror games are something that you really need to be creative with and you really need to stand out and I think that I would like to be a part of one of that someday but I don't know if that's ever gonna happen but if I could do anything something in horror next question comes from Zeckles Zeckles <laughs> He asks, Q&A, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be? Oh, man. PewDiePie. Definitely. Next question comes from BJ209. He asks, Entry, what made you start vlogging? Like I said before, I want to start vlogging when I actually... This big event happens in my life where I'm moving, I'm doing all of this stuff because it'll be easier to do and I can continue making content for you guys when I move. Uh, just that time frame, that weird time frame in between moves. Next question comes from Fire Trucky. He asks Q&A, where do you see yourself in the next two years on YouTube? Uh, in two years, I plan on continuing doing it and I see myself hopefully with a subscriber base that is as good as you guys are and I can just continue making content for them. I mean, I love doing it. I hope that I'm going to be continuing doing this. I upload every day. Maybe in the near future, things might get a little bit more structured. And that would be awesome. Because I'm kind of unstructured right now. I'm as structured as I can get. But I want to get more structured on YouTube. Definitely. Next question comes from Mr. Apocalypse. He asks, now that you have 1,500 subs, are you going to do something different than before? Um, I keep adding to my YouTube. I got lights now. I got the microphone. I got the camera. Um, different, I like where I'm at, honestly, I just like where I'm at, so I think I'm gonna stick where I'm, what I'm doing right now, I really like it. Next question, and the last question comes from Just A Bear Gaming, have you ever met a bear in real life before? Yes, I have. It was awesome. Now everybody, we are going to get into the winner of the blue snowball microphone that I promised. <laughs> So what we're going to do is there's an actual thing on the uh, interweb that lets you select a random person to actually win. So we're going to go there right now. I have the video in here, so we're just going to click random choice and comments on this video. Vic Jackson, congratulations, you won. So what I'm actually going to do for you is I'm going to uh, message you directly on YouTube and I need you to respond to me with all the shipping information and all of that stuff. But congratulations, Vic. You won the snowball. I hope that it's useful for you. Thank you all for participating. I hope that you guys all have an awesome day. Vic, look for that message. I will see you guys later.